Afternoon everyone. I've just got a, another journal here to share with you all. This is a new style I've been doing, a, a nice vintage look. As you can see they're really thick. Uh, the measurements of these are eight and a quarter by five and three quarter. Okay so here we go. I've used my Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink on all the edges, all the pages and everything I could. The pocket here with the three tags in it. Some lovely old worldy pictures. Matching pocket on this side with three extra tags. A large one. Let me turn over and I've just used a, a paper clip at the top and it just holds a big card so you could do your journaling or whatever you'd like on the back of it. I've used lovely Martha Stewart edge punches. And then I've just used a, a really nice selection of stamps I've got that are old worldy type and a nice vintage look. And stick together when you don't want them to. And I've done a nice pocket page. Um, I've used my cattle bug and embossing folder. Put the pocket on a bit of an angle there. Two nice old tags to go in there. And the next side I've done the same with two different stamps I've used on this one. Just to write down your notes or your thoughts. I've used another Martha Stewart punch on the side, a nice stamp. And just different stamps on all the corners of the pages. Just a nice stamp I got on this one. And same thing, just a few more pages with stamp corners. It's a nice image. Lovely scallop edge on the page. Another two tags and a slide. Little half circle holding them at the bottom so they don't fall through. There's lots of different stamps in this page. Just another cattle bag embossing folder on this one. I quite like the idea of having the pockets on the slope going down. Another two tags on this side. Pages look nice with the uh, Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. On this page I've done three different tags. As you can see I haven't put um, string or lace in them yet. This is going to a nice lady in Tennessee. I'm not sure whether she's a lace person or a string. So I thought once she gets it she could pop in what she wanted to. A couple of pages there. It's a nice tag with the uh, embossing on the bottom. Just use my stamps on these ones, the little postcard stamps, and cut the card accordingly. Just she can stick a few notes in there or whatever she wants. And a lot more pages, lovely old stamps on the bottoms. Um, I've used the papers that are my mind's eye, but they're from three different collections, so I'm not sure which is which, but they're all my mind's eye. Nice stamps. And just slide in there in this pocket. Another ad for perfume. And a group of pages. Got a wee while distressing the edges, but I quite like the finish it came up with. And apply a stamp again. The zigzag Martha Stewart punch on the bottom. More of the postcard tags. Back to lined paper. See, so she can do lots of writing in this journal. Nice to take away for a holiday or just everyday use. And another um, embossed page with a pocket. Two lovely stamps. Just trying to keep with the old vintage thing. And then another two on the back. Another edge. 
couple more pages with the nice older stamps on them. And the last one's just a huge tag to write on, nice crowns. And then I pop it in the last page. Three lovely old tags in there. And that's my journal, so I uh, hope she likes it and gets some use out of it. And the back page is just the same as the front, with the green paper. I thoroughly enjoyed making it, so it's on its way tomorrow. Thank you.